I'm a pretty healthy guy. <laughs> but now, it's time to take it to the next level. Five months ago, I ordered a DNA sequencing kit from Nebula Genomics. I wanted to use my own DNA as an entry point to start exploring bioinformatics. Based on the genotypes, we calculate a polygenic score that estimates your genetic likelihood of exhibiting a trait, and we calculate a percentile that tells you how your score compares to the score of other Nebula users. Glaucoma, 95th percentile, high genetic predisposition. Male pattern baldness, 48th percentile, average genetic predisposition. Critical COVID illness? Thirty seventh percentile. Below average genetic predisposition. Intelligence. Don't need it. Higher waist to hip ratio. Ninety ninth percentile. These numbers are calculated by cross referencing your DNA with third party studies called genome wide association studies. It's actually pretty simple. So simple that I started thinking I could do it myself. And then doubt started creeping in. Who's going to be interested in this? How am I going to make any money? What if I get sued by Nebula Genome? Alright, so I wrote this script to help calculate genetic predisposition, and I want to show you what this analysis means. I'm not a geneticist, please take this with many grains of salt. You can think about your DNA like a long sequence of four letters, A, T, C, and G. Most of our DNA is the same as everyone else's, but once in a while, the letters are different. These are called variants, and they turn us all into our own unique snowflakes. GWAS studies try to find correlations between specific variants and conditions. It doesn't actually tell you what the variant does, it just says that somebody with the variant is more or less likely to also have the condition. So, let's say I wanted to calculate my genetic predisposition for freckles. First, we gotta find a GWAS paper about freckling. I should probably read the paper, but I'm tired, so let's look at the summary table instead. These are the variants they found related to freckling. Now the real question is if I have those freckling variants in my DNA, and I'm pretty sure I do, so I do my best. I can load my DNA into a genome browser and search for these freckling variants. The genome browser looks confusing, but there are only three possible situations. Either I don't have the variant, I have one copy of the variant, or I have two copies, one from my mom and one from my dad. For each variant, multiply the number of copies I have with the effect size, which tells us how correlated the variant is with the condition. Sum all these up and we get a huge simplification called the polygenic score. Basically, the bigger my score, the more likely I am to have the condition. Now I just have to compare my score with the score of lots of other people to get my percentile. I'm too lazy to compile that data set, so that's why I wrote my script to estimate percentile based on my polygenic score, the effect sizes, and the variant frequencies. Turns out I'm in the bottom 16th percent for freckles, which makes me wonder if I actually have freckles or if my skin is aging prematurely from working too much. Productivity hack. How to eat an orange in one easy step. I think the practical application of this technology is advertising health and beauty products, I wouldn't trust it for medical advice, but if there was something that could tell me if this sunscreen or this toothpaste could work better for me based on my genetics, then I would give it a shot, why not? Do not worry though, I would never sell out to corporate brands and promote unnecessary products just to make money. Cheers, mate. <laughs>